Other Games has been paying for advertising for Light No Fire, and it's got a lot of us wondering when the actual release date's going to be. But let's be clear, I only want this game released when it's ready. So even though I'd love to get my hands on it right now, I'd rather wait until it is truly ready. But the question remains, is it going to be 2024 or 2025? And there's two very interesting things about both those years. But before I get to that, I'd like to talk about one thing. They've only acknowledged that they're bringing it to the PC so far. That doesn't mean it's not coming to console. In fact, that is a very good sign indeed. Because to bring a game to PC, you have to have it ready for all the variables, all the different types of PCs. And that requires a hell of a lot of work. A perfect example of that is the new GTA 6 game that will not be coming to PC for about a year after the initial release. Due to the size of that game, it takes a lot of time to get everything to work correctly. While in PlayStation and Xbox, you only have to get it ready for those consoles. And as the consoles take up quite a big chunk of the market, I can't see them not bringing it to Xbox and PlayStation, current generation. And for a small company like Halo Games, a staggered platform release will add substantial costs to the marketing. And it doesn't matter how great a game is, the excitement over a new title always peters out. So I'm pretty sure we will all get the game at the same time. So, like I said earlier, Halo Games having it ready for PC is a very good sign, because I think they're still working on the PlayStation and the Xbox ports. But another interesting thing about next year, it's very likely the PlayStation and the Xbox are going to have a mid-gen refresh, which means it's very likely that companies like Halo Games have got their hands on a developer's version of the PlayStation Pro and are working on a port version of their new game for that as well. And yes, I think these games are only going to come out in the PlayStation 5 and the latest version of Xbox, as well as the version already announced for the PCs. So having the game come out in the third quarter, autumn time, next year, would make a lot of sense as PlayStation and Xbox can market this game as a new title fully optimised for the fresh versions of the consoles, which means there'll be a lot of tied-in marketing. But 2025 could also be quite a good year as well. Even though GTA 6 is coming out, and I too initially thought that maybe that would not be a good year. I've suddenly changed my mind because I've realised something. You may or you may not be a fan of GTA, but it is going to have an effect on the amount of consoles that get sold. It's one of those titles that's going to get all the people on the old gen transferred over to the new gen that haven't done so yet. This is also one of those titles that attract a lot of players to the consoles. So in 2025, I see a lot of hardware sales, probably in the third quarter, going through the roof for Xbox and PlayStation. And as a lot of bigger game companies are going to avoid that period of time to release any new titles because they're going to get swamped out by GTA. Like No Fire isn't exactly the same type of game as GTA and with all the extra eyes looking at the gaming industry around that time and all the new console players looking for another game to play in their new consoles, Light No Fire will stand out quite well. And with the possibility of a mid-range delay, 2025 might be the year that everything happens. So it really does take me back to my original question, when do I think it's coming out? There will be a possibility that Halo Games is surprised and have it out early next year. And yes, I truly would love it to be then, but I feel it's truly going to be round about August, autumn of 2024. But even though I rejected the idea of myself for around about summer, autumn 2025, I prepared myself mentally that it might be a longer wait than I'm expecting. And judging by the response to the game so far, and the success the trailer has had, I will happily wait until this game is truly polished. So if that means a longer wait, so be it. But that little voice at the back of my head still says I want it now. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later. Oh,